Now, it may be true that you can't cook like Grandma used to, and maybe your expertise, culinary speaking-wise, anyway, is macaroni and cheese, perhaps, but I challenge you, my friends, I challenge you this weekend to become a weekend chef. How? How about some easy recipes, some easy putting together with an expert, Chef Ryan McNutt. Good morning. The U.S. Morning. Food and uh, Chef Store. Thanks for coming in this morning for our weekend chef uh, well, deal. Glad to be so, here. when I say to you, Cornish game hen wrapped in bacon, you go, I can't do that. But guess what? I bet you can, right? Yes, you can. Look at that. Yes. All right, so what do we got going on? All right. Um, what I've done is, I mean, here we can see where the finished product's going to look like. Mm -hmm. um, you just kind of lay this out just like you're, you're weaving together the bacon. I've just made like, like a little... Like a basket like a, weave, if you yes, will. Yes, exactly. A little bit of over-under action going on here. Right. Um, I just simply... Uh, and this, is, and this is just obviously raw bacon, right? Uh-huh. Okay, all right. So raw yeah. bacon, you weave it together. Exactly. And then the beauty of this is, is, is as it roasts, you know, see so it crisps over here. Right. But it bastes the bird the entire time. So all the juices so it really the bacon actually go right back into that bird. And, and extremely, okay. extremely, extremely okay. tender. Now, is there um, any trick to buying the right Cornish game hen? Uh, really, you know, like this one might have been, as I said on the uh, on the website with the instructions, uh, you know, one per person. That one's a pretty good size one. This okay. one's a nice small one. By the time it really cooks down, there's not as much meat as it really looks like on there. So, so but let me let me do the math here real quick for you, Chef. So this is one one bird per person. Right. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strips of bacon per person. But, now that I can get behind that. But there is a <laughs> disclaimer on there that you don't have to eat all the bacon. So you know. But there's also a disclaimer right. that says you can. <laughs> if you want. Right. And keep Recipe, by the way, if you log on to watch.com slash weekend chef, it is waiting for you right now. Go ahead. Make sure there's an ambulance outside if you decide to eat the nine slices. This is the corner. Bird. All right, all right. So, so really, I just seasoned down. it up. Mm -hmm. I put it breast side down, and then just kind of gently pull the thing. You know, as it sits in room temperature, the bacon right. becomes a little more pliable. Okay. And you just kind of fold it around. Now, are you stuffing the bird at all, Chef? Or are you just the birds? You know, the, the whole that? stuffing thing. I, I generally try to stay away from that. And okay. The reason behind that is the the cavity itself. Uh, if you got raw product in there, right up against it, it's not so much with one of these birds, right. but it's really hard to get that cooked all the way without the outside being now, really, that's really like too done. For a turkey done. as well, is that a consideration I, I really for say holidays? for the turkey. Okay. You know, uh, you Good could have know. that stuff that right inside by the inner cavity is is a little bit too raw. Okay. And then you know it's not good to uh, an tip. have a trip to the ER after you have a nice meal together with family. So no, although sometimes I like right. to send my family to the ER, but that's a whole different story. Right. I mean, after well, all, it is the in-laws. There could be know? some blunt instruments <laughs> involved. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic stuff. All of right. course, our, our dining word today also provided by the chef's store up on St. Andrews Road as well, guys. Thank you so much for that wholesale so. prices for the restaurant tour and the public as well with no Maybe. membership so there oh, you I go like it. with no there membership you, you, there you go about it. all right so really that's that's how we've done oh, it oh wow okay it, it, it i would transfer this to a pan and then just mm -hmm. roast it in the oven 350 degrees for about uh that one took me approximately an hour and 20 last night okay uh, i really suggest getting the meat thermometer sure what's the temp you're looking for in that 165 internal on the breast <clears throat> and then you know it's done enough and by okay. that point you're going to have a nice good brown crispy uh, crust on the outside. Uh, the recipes for the butternut squash and the green beans, as well as the mashed potatoes, are on there as well. Yep, very and easy. Uh, the complete shopping list too. You can actually print that out. Take it right to uh, to Publix, wherever you're going to shop. Get everything and the directions. Uh, start to Publix. finish right here. Oh, you go the to chef you go to the chef store. There, there you, you go. go. You go to the chef store as well. Right. Wherever you might go. All right. Certainly the chef store as well. All right. All right, guys. I so tell you what. Uh, so this is the finished product. Actually, it looks real nice. Finished off with um, some mashed potatoes and a butternut squash there as well. Very nice presentation. That's a dinner for one. That's humongous, by the way. It is. It's a nice presentation for one. Well, I did this for my turkey for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay. And uh, it really just only covered the breast itself. Sure. Um, that but just means I'll you need more you, bacon, that's all. Well, it, it was a, a larger piece, but the, the crust in the breast was fantastic. so fantastic. It was so moist and so just so juicy. It was fantastic. Awesome. I tell you what, we're going to dig into this bird here, make sure it meets the taste test of the weekend chef. And also, uh, <laughs> dessert. You can't have this kind of meal without a dessert. We've got that's that right. for you coming up in about 10 minutes as well. We continue on the weekend chef here with Chef Ryan McNutt from U.S. Foods and the Chef Store. Stay with us. We got the top five things you need to know rolling into your Thursday when we come right back. If you're thinking to yourself, I want to impress somebody for Christmas this year, and you say, I can't make this French Cornish game hen wrapped in bacon with potatoes and, and all that good stuff, and you can. You can log on to watch.com slash chef store and check out the full recipe, courtesy of Chef Ryan McNutt here from the Chef Store and U.S. Foods. It's our weekend chef, and I challenge you this weekend to put on one of these and become a chef. You can do it. Now, we've got the Cornish Game Hen. We're going to get into that in a second. Make sure it tastes good. It's wrapped in bacon. How can it not? 
but you got to have a good dessert. So what do we got? Exactly. Uh, for dessert, we're going to follow up today with uh, apple pecan pie. Oh, I like the sound of that. Um, so I've really just got so I've got some Granny Smith apples here. Okay. Um, this is just a deep dish pie show. All right. All right. So you get the Granny Smith apples, cut them together. And you, go ahead, you just cut those into, into uh, eights or whatever? Yeah, peel them down, okay. get some uniform slices, take the core out, and uh, then I've got some melted butter. Fantastic, all right. Um, there you go, Paula Dean would love you. Of course, this recipe, by the way, at watch.com slash chef store. A lot of ingredients you can get right at the chef store on St. Andrews Road. Granulated sugar. Okay, how much, in that, how much sugar is in that? Uh, this, for this batch here, is right around a cup. Okay, um, so not too bad. So, also have pecans. Okay. Toss those in as well. Yep. And I've combined the uh, nutmeg, cinnamon, and allspice. Uh, all right. So really, you know, if you want to cheat and use an, an apple pie spice, all those well. things are pretty much taste. in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, very good. But it, it's it's kind of that that smell of the season. You all know, right. It's like now they've got candles that smell like that. You know. It does. It smells like Christmas, and it's going to be Christmas in my belly in about two and a half minutes here. There we go. Just right. enough flour. The flour basically goes together with that butter there. Okay. Binds it. Oh man, that looks easy. Just going to gonna toss these together. All right. Get a good coating on See? it. See, again, playing with your food is okay. That's right. That's right. Remember, you eat with your eyes first, my friends. Don't forget about that. That's right. When you're cooking. All right. All right. So then you just go right in, and you're going to say, "Hey, this looks a little bit tall," but just remember that the uh, the uh, the apples are going to kind of cook out a little bit. Right. They're going to settle down. Okay. Uh, and so settle down, you apples. So being up over the top is really a good Let's idea. Try these apples here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm. All right. That worked out. So then I've got a streusel topping, which the recipe is on there too. It's basically flour, brown sugar, a little bit of white sugar, mm -hmm. um, oatmeal, and pecans. And then you cut butter in just a little bit at a time. And you, as you can see here, there's still, you know, just some pieces of actual sure. butter. That's what kind of gives you those little, um, little nubs in there that are kind of. Little nuggets that grandma used to yes. make. How long are you going to put that in the oven for, Chef? Uh, this bakes for probably about 20 minutes, depending on That's your it, okay. oven. Yeah, 350 degrees. Very good. You'll get a nice brown on the top of this, and yeah, then good. you'll see the apples bubbling out on the side, and it's ready to go. Done. I love it. All We've right. got the finished product over there. We've got to cut in. We've got just a couple of seconds left. Let's go ahead and cut into this corner scan we had to. Sure. All right, so this is that. What do we cut in first? I can't decide. Guys, very, very easy, by the way. Everything we just did kind of in front of you. Bacon looks good. Go ahead, so go ahead and reach in there and get that sure. out of the way. Is there is there a proper way to cut open a Cornish can? Again, this is just not like dinner this, for one. There. So you just cut right down the middle mm -hmm. and jump right in. Look at that. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Just off the side, so not quite like a turkey. Sure. Well, there's not as much breast meat for right, sure right, on these right. things. Okay. But it's really just like small chicken. So just get in it. You know, just, yeah. just be a carnivore, guys. Just be a carnivore. You got bacon on there anyway. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Oh, that looks so good. Mmm. All right, and of course the juices from the bacon as that cooks is going to go ahead and just continue to moisturize that bird as well. Sure. So go ahead and do that. Mm-hmm. We've got just a few seconds left. We've got to get into that pie as well, but mm. boom. So there you go. And you're done. Very, yep. very easy. Yep. All right. Let me take All a right. napkin, whip that thing up. Let's go ahead and get into that pie. I'll just cut it with a fresh knife. Oh, there you go. Okay, you can do that as well. All Guys, right. don't forget you log on to watch.com. The complete recipe and shopping list. You can print that off and take it to uh, the chef store from St. Andrews Road or wherever you're going to do your uh, Christmas shopping uh, for food. You can do that and Ooh. you are good to go. And slap that on there. And we're going to try this, this uh, pie. This looks so good. Very easy stuff. It is that there. easy there to uh, become a weekend chef. I challenge you to do it. And uh, thank you to Chef Ryan McNutt here in the chef store. And, uh, and the I recommend food. using a pie server as well. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> right. Guys, get in and cook. Enjoy it. Impress your friends. And I say, cook well, my friends. Happy holidays, everybody. Enjoy. Oh my god, it's so good. Wow.